Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. Let's talk today about miracles. We are going to go there today talk about miracles now regardless of what you feel works for you I don't like saying the word believe in um, but I guess believe in you know whether you believe there is a or it works for you that there's a high power maybe for you you're like you know I've got angels and guides around me maybe you go I don't believe in any of that stuff it is just baloney Karen forget it Talk all you want. That used to be me. That's okay. You you know, what works for you works for you. I'll tell you, for me, about a year ago when things just started to split wide open in my life in many different ways, I began to look towards faith. Not religion. That's something that I know for sure does not work for me. But faith, higher power, what does this all mean? Spirituality. Am I here? Like, you know, all of those things. It's kind of like that spiritual awakening that all of us get confronted with at some time in our life. Um, some people will discover it midlife. I turned 50 in uh, about two weeks. So, you know, this was a year ago. So around that time, I guess. Midlife-ish. And, um, but here's what I do know to be true. Not just from the last year, but that... Miracles do absolutely happen, and um, it is a part of life to be in the flow of miracles. And what I mean by that is when your life is just really in flow, right? When you're like, oh my God, suddenly just all these things came together. And so, you know, we've all had that experience in life, right? I know you have. I know you have. You're like, I, you know, it could be something simple like I was thinking of this person and then I called them and they connected me with this person and then I had this opportunity that developed, um, you know, and then this thing opened up and then I found the place to live and then I, like, you know, there's just, and we, sometimes when we're in that flow, like we don't really see, but we'll look back and we'll go, oh my gosh. And a lot of times it's in the middle of pain. It's in the middle of suffering. It's in the middle of something that's happening that does not feel good does not feel like the plan it like you know welcome to life it's going to continue to unfold that way it's funny how we think that we have this control over these things in our life and although we can be really clear on the things that we really want we can take actions you know that move us towards that but you know good luck with the whole control thing and you will stress yourself out i know i've done it i've done it still find myself going there at times but here's something to know is that the miracle is just around the corner it's the times when we feel like giving up it is the you know it's the darkest it's darkest before the dawn right it's it's um there will always be this surge of like chaos before there's clarity there will be that sounded good. Write that shit down. There will be a surge of chaos before clarity. And, uh, you know, I've witnessed this. I talked about this in past episodes as the resistance, right? And, you know, ways that perhaps you're being tested. Do you really want this? Are you really ready for this? You know? Can you? Can you? Because, listen, when everything's kind of in flow and everything's going good and it's like, oh, I'm so happy, I'm so grateful. But can you still hold that center in the midst of a storm can you still trust can you still let go of the control and understand that it ain't up to you can you still take solace and peace and as scary as it is even if it's just a moment of that you take a breath to say I will be okay I'm being held right now in this I'm being tested right now for some reason and I don't need to figure it all out right now I just need to be present in this moment. I need to surrender into it. I need to let go. I need to stop trying to get out of it and just be in it. 
We got to go through it. You got to go through those moments that you were going through. You cannot keep dipping in and out and trying to shortcut it, right? Trying to hack your way through it. I, I think this is what some people, I've heard this term um, talked about, but we'll refer to this as spiritual bypassing. So this is my interpretation. And maybe this maybe this is not the right interpretation, maybe a different one, but this is what I see it. Spiritual bypassing. It's almost like using quotes, books, podcasts, um, the way that you speak of it, you know, like just kind of like maybe putting a Bible verse over something that's a really difficult time. Like dipping your toe in the water of it and just going, oof, yeah, that's too cold. I'm not going on there. But you know what? It's, I'm just going to, you know, everything will be fine and this too shall pass. And right, like not allowing yourself to really go through the experience and somehow act as if that you're on some enlightened path, right? When really the reality is, is we're all just figuring this out. There's no levels of spirituality and you know, there's definitely a different thing. You know, some people are walking around this earth, and most people really, of just unconscious. Conscious. It's not a judgment. That's just a, you know, they're just going through life, and they're jumping through the hoops, and they're not wanting to go to those places, and that's okay, and that's that's their choice. They might not even realize that they're unconscious, and they're going to wake up at some point, or maybe not, and go, oh, man, I've been sleeping. And so I feel there's definitely... A moment when you awaken and you start on the path of remembering who you are. Some people will call this like you become a seeker, like you know, like you're now like really looking for answers and really start to be open and are willing to kind of embrace that pain that you're going through and heal those wounds and go through all that stuff. So spiritual bypassing to me is kind of like mm, I'm not gonna really go there. I'm gonna kind of like skirt around it. I'm gonna kind of like take. I'm gonna do like the, like the hack version of it. I'm just gonna take this online course. And then I'm going to post about it, you know, somewhere on Facebook or Instagram. And say I'm taking this course and wow, I've really opened up. And, and can all those things can be very, very true. But there's a little piece of you that goes, mm, yeah, you're not really all in on this. So if you allow yourself to really go to those places, to me, that's when the miracle happens. When I've more recently in my life just like literally been like, I let go. I know what I still want. Very clear on that. I'm still holding that vision. I'm still holding that space. But I am just deciding to release control. Let it go. It ain't up to me. And to trust that whatever is best and good for everybody is what is going to show up. And those moments when it's just been like, for me, God, I surrender. I let go. I would almost get like an instantaneous affirmation of things that then develop from that space. And it's a real true one, right? And it wasn't done for the purpose of, well, you know, this is thing that I really want or things that I want or an experience I want or something I'm trying to work through. And let me just talk to God. Let me just like dial up the big guy or the big gal and, and say, and you know what? I'm just going to let go so that I can somehow force it, right? I can like, I'm still trying to control it. I'm still trying, like I'm trying to control the miracle. It doesn't work that way. You know, it doesn't work that way. It is literally at moments of just like, I surrender on your knees. Like, all right, I get it. I let go. I let go. I let go. So I want you to know right now, if you're going through something really challenging in your life, or maybe it's like from a while ago and you're just, you're still not healed through it. You're still working through it. You're still, it's like, you're just regurgitating the past. It's like you're reliving it every single day, right? It's like that movie Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. Like you wake up and it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It might look a little bit of a different way, but if you were to kind of like pan back on the story of your life, you just see yourself repeating the same shit over and over and over and over with people, with, with maybe with business, with different experiences, with relationships, with everything. You're just like, you're just going in a circle and you can't see it because you're so deep and thick in it. But 
I want you to know that the miracle is just around the corner. It's the times that we feel like giving up. That source is just like, we're almost there. Or like at the finish line. You know like when people renovate their homes? We've done this at different stages, homes that we've lived in. It's like the finishing stuff is the worst, right? Like, you know, whether you've done the work, you had someone hire, it's like the little bits and pieces, like the cleanup and the, you know, if you're painting, it's like now you got to do the touch-ups and people tend to not want to do that stuff, right? They'll start, they'll do the job and then they don't really want to finish it because it's like, oh, I'm just so done at this point. I don't give a shit anymore, right? But it's, that's, that's when the job's done. It's the finishing. It's all those little details. It's all of those things. So here's your more tip for today. What is your more tip for today? Because these all is just, these come through me, by the way. I don't, whether this is the first time I listen to the podcast or you've been listening for a while, you've heard every, every single episode, you don't know that I basically just like push record, know what I'm going to, I'm just, I, I know I'm going to, okay, I'm speaking of this and then I just, I see where it goes and I just trust it, including the more tip. I literally have no idea what it's going to be each time. So yeah, we're going to journal because journaling brings so much insight and clarity so much insight and clarity and I'll give you a way to get a free journal in a moment so here's your more tip than for today then sister I want you to write at the top of your journal page I choose to trust in miracles because and begin to write I choose to trust in miracles because and begin to write and really see what surfaces and you know speak into your heart don't write stuff that you think just sounds good or you're supposed to write. This is for you. It's for nobody else but you in your journey, in your path, in your process. So I choose to, to believe in miracles because and really see what begins to come to you and come through you. So on that note, free journal. There's about 65-ish left of the Woman Wants More Limited Edition journals. I've sent out, I think it's now 600. Yeah, I think I've sent out 600 even over the last year and a half, and this is the last round. This is it. So I would love to send you one for free. You take care of a little bit of shipping. I do all the rest. I'm going to send you some cool women want to more swag with that as well. So to get yours, one of the last ones, head over to drkarenosborn.com slash free journal. So D-R-K-A-R-E-N-O-S-B-U-R-N.com slash free journal. And I will send that to you within, uh, usually you'll receive it within about two weeks. Um... And then I want you also too to join the journey to feminine. You know, I, I still, that's still an, an active group. It's interesting when you set up Facebook groups, if you've been in some before, or you've actually run any Facebook groups before, this is a free um, private community of women that are listening to the podcast and on this path and on this journey. And it's called the journey to feminine. So go to Facebook, go to the search bar, type in the journey to feminine, and then request to be added to the group. But you know, the energy kind of ebbs and flows, right? Everyone's the same thing. Everyone's all excited at the beginning. Lots of energy. But I continue to put content in there and to post things and to engage. And so I would love to have you be part of that very special private group. So the Journey to Feminine, go to Facebook, type that in the search bar. Request to be added by the group. And as long as you are a woman and you don't have a fake profile, because I get some of those, then I will gladly add you and happy to have you there. So I will talk to you in the next episode, sister. A life, is more, a life of more is one step away if you understand that the miracle really is just around the corner every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the How to Get More tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter.